and that goes to show you JT's character. He, uh, I mean, he was part of the team. He supported us. He got JT, or excuse me, he got Cardell ready for the week and uh, handled it like a captain, like a like a man. Um, as far as the clarity, uh, you know, it just goes. It's gonna. It's gonna, we'll tell better during the week. You know, we have to see how practice goes, how we are, how we're gonna attack Illinois, and just the preparation and how things are gonna work out. So, it just does it make it easier knowing who's back there for us off, offensive line? It doesn't really. To me, again, what I've told you, it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't really matter to us. It's between the coach's decision, and we're gonna do what's best for the team. Was there one or two things he did last week that made you kind of go? Who's that, Cardell? No, JT. JT. Uh, I mean, his leadership. I mean, we. I read something again today talking about uh, the the halftime speech, yeah. and I mean, he he did. Uh, and to, to credit Zeke, um, he did speak to us, and that's his leadership abilities. I mean, I constantly we constantly talk about leadership and and the type of man, the type of character JT has, and to be able to sit there and to be under under quote unquote punishment. Uh, and still be able to lead the team and get us in the right direction to piggyback what you know Cardell has been saying and the coaches have been saying. It just goes to show you how what kind of person he really is. What was the gist of his message? Uh, just to just to play play how we know. I mean, we at times at times you you change you overcomplicate things or you change things just because you're trying to be perfect. And and sometimes within the course of the game you can't do that. You just have to go out, play, practice how you play, and just go with it. Of misconceptions and, and play actions and where's the ball going. I don't think we spent a lot of time on that, but just spend the time of get the ball in the right person's hand and let's go make plays. Do you feel like with the guys you have on the field offensively that even if the other team knows what you're going to do, you guys can still do it? We have a lot of confidence in our guys and all the way across the board from the receivers, the tight ends, offensive line, the running back. I mean, if we block and execute every play, we've got the confidence and we'll let you know where it's going and we'll just line up and we'll play. What about defenses, opposing defenses? Are they, are they <laughs> trying to hit you with surprises still or at this point of the season are there no surprises left? Uh, no, there are, they are. I know Minnesota threw a couple blitzes at us that we weren't completely ready for or prepared for. Uh, we adjusted to those in game and we had to make you know those exceptions and, and go from there. Uh, but each each team again they will always have their little wrinkle, they'll always try to throw something new at us and that's just that's part of part of the game. How different are teams when you watch them on film to what you see on game day? Because we keep hearing that they, they put a little more effort in when they play you and then they'll save some wrinkles for you. When when you watch video, how different is it? A little bit. I mean I mean the best the best case is when we looked at when we played Virginia Tech last year, I mean they didn't play Bear any any time in the previous year, and all of a sudden they come out and play 90% of the game at Bear. Teams teams don't do that extreme every week in and week out, but they are they always will throw that wrinkle at us. So I mean it's it's sometimes you don't see it on film and you're not prepared for it, but that's what the sideline adjustments are for. And I think we do a great job with Coach Warner to really execute and to try to continue to throughout the game. Hey Billy, with uh, Zeke moving up to fourth all time with the career rushing list, uh, how much pride do you take in something like that? All right, career rushing is the highest stage, so. Uh, for playing that offensive line, I think that's, that's a lot of pride in us. Uh, you know, we've, I forget what the statistic was, uh, when Taylor Decker was nominated for whatever trophy that was. Um, congrats to him. Sorry, I'm not. I'm, last week, are you talking about? Yeah, last week. The Lombardi. And, yeah, the Lombardi. Lombardi. So we were, we were looking at those statistics in the rush yards and, and what we've been able to do while Taylor's been here. And that's been a huge credit to both Coach Warner and the leaders within our unit with Taylor and Jacoby and Pat Chase and those guys. Um, so I think that's really, that's, that's a pride thing for us, absolutely, because that's that's our product. He made note on Saturday night that uh, a highest of running backs have a pretty solid history of going for big yards against Illinois. Uh, Eddie had his famous game against Illinois mm -hmm. over 300 yards. Um, is that something you ever think about, kind of wanting to get him that extra bump to get closer to Eddie or maybe close to that list? Or? I don't think record-wise. I mean, I'm not a huge records guy, and I don't think Zeke really holds on to that. I know we, we have a huge uh, – within our unit, we take a lot of pride in the 100-yard rushing per game. Um, that's something that we like to try to get him because that's just – Work hard. We're gonna work hard for you, kind of deal. Uh, but as far as a big game, um, I, we kind of have a little thing within the unit. You know, put him over 200 yards, and we got another Hyde Park deal coming. So, <laughs> by the way, still he, missing he, no, he, no, he took it. He took us. He took it. Oh, he took us. It was great. Oh, it was the best time ever. It was great. <laughs> um, big, nice stakes, and you know, oh, it, was, it was a great time. So, Better yeah, than was, stat class, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Mr. Roder. <laughs>